It's taken off. Yeah, you're you're gone. You are gone. <laughs> wow. Welcome to Gaming with a Scottish Accent. I'm Dal Dantel. This is Scrap Mechanic. How you doing, guys? We're back. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your continued support in the Scrap Mechanic series. I mean, it does mean a lot to me, and I know you've probably got tired of hearing this, but it really, it, it, I appreciate it. I do. All the comments as well. And remember, if you do enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Today, I've been working with unicycles. I made two. So let's go see what they're all about. One uses kind of thrusters and bearings, and one just uses the the bearing glitch thing. So you can go in here, got an engine, you can turn it on a dime, which is good. Let's zoom out a bit. So you can turn it like that. And that's just one bearing. I've got one bearing jammed in there that does all the turning. And just the thrusters that are hopefully keeping it upright. It's not the fastest. It's a bit clunky. It is pretty stable though. It, if it, but the, the one thing is, if it does flip, oh god, it flips. It goes to town if it flips and it flips properly. I mean, it is very slow, but I think that's just because of the thrusters and stuff. See what I mean? It, it does tend to go a bit cuckoo, and cuckoo pants and go a bit nut, nut, nut. Okay, so that's the first one. I've tried messing around with the thrusters to make them a bit fuller a bit more and it does this weird throws you up in the air thing and just keeps you rocking back and forward it's so weird <laughs> it's just you need to adjust the thrusters get the right the right uh, speed on them the right adjustment because you can adjust the thrusters now which is is pretty cool it is pretty cool i have to say but let's check out the next one i mean this one is my favorite it doesn't, st this turning circle is not as good. It looks a lot better though, it drives a lot better. It doesn't have the thrusters, which I'm all for. I'm not a big fan of thrusters, they always cause me serious grief. I mean, we can probably get this going a bit more level, but it does its job for, for a humming, well it's got two tyres, but it's only one wheel. We could take off another wheel, we could take off another uh, one of the wheels and it still run fine because of the way I've done the, the bearings glitch on it. We're fine, see, and if it flips over you can flip it back up, watch. You can get away from this thing, can we get away? There we go. Now let's try and flip it. And I'll show you it getting back up, so if you go up here... Oh, what the crap just happened there? Was that just me landing? Jesus! So it, it is pretty hard to tip to be honest and when it does tip you can just turn one way or the other and it pulls you straight back up which is awesome so let's have a look at how we've done it so basically i've got five uh suspensions in here one for the turning one connected to this block uh let's put it on here i've got one got two here and i've got two across the way as well so the two here connect to this and there and then connect to the side sensors which keeps it upright oh that's taken off it's taken off yeah you're you're gone you are gone <laughs> wow and uh, the ones at the back that do that as well so you know this flips it up and this will flip it back that way as well but it doesn't let it go all the way because it'll just keep rocking like that which is cool same with that so it's pretty actually stable with these with these bearing scotches and I, I actually like this one a lot better it looks like it kind of acts like a unicycle you know how when if, if you see somebody on a unicycle standing still they kind of do that back and forward jogging thing the kind of back and forward motion like like this what well, doesn't do it it just hits the ground there why are you just hitting the ground is that because oh oh god right let's go back up here and i'll show you what i mean like that See it does that kind of back and that kind of jerking thing. That's kind of what unicycles do when they're on, when they're just trying to stand on their own anyway. I mean that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, let's go over here and get that thing. That is nuts. That really doesn't work. We need to turn the thrusters down like that. They're far too powerful. But guys, I've just done a wee, done a wee build here. I'm actually 
it was just a quick build. I wanted to build. I've been wanting to build a unicycle thing for a while now. I'm working on a two-legged mech. You know what I did before, I've, and I'm revisiting it, and I'm trying to make it a lot better and cool, and uh, we're going to be working on that in the next couple of episodes, I think. But I want to get this out to you guys, just to show you a little unicycle con 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 concept that I've worked on, and uh, I, like it. I think it's pretty cool. We just need, we could jazz it up, obviously. We could easily jazz it up and make it look a lot cooler. And I think I might do that, and I may show you next episode, or I may just stick a picker on, a picker, a picture on Twitter or something, guys. So remember, if you don't follow me on Twitter, check me out on uh, Dal underscore Dantel, and the Facebook as well, and you know all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to call it an episode, guys. So if you did enjoy it, remember and leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, spread the word, tell your friends, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.